You're listening to Metal Attack MTL with Double D here on MetalMessiahRadio.com. All right, this is Metal Attack MTL, and right now I'm trapped in a broom closet or something uh, with Jason Rockman. Watch out, bend <laughs> over. <laughs> the front man from Slaves on Dope. Yeah, the bald dude in the closet you're telling me about. <laughs> Watch out for bald guys in the closet. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Slaves on Dope, the guys just put out a new album this year, Over the Influence. Yes. So uh, tell us about that. Uh, you guys did a big party? Yeah, we did a launch at uh, Fafun, uh, but, uh, well, February 29th, and... Um, and yeah, I'm really happy. We're going out on the road with it this summer. We're going, uh, we're going to the U.S. for three weeks, and then we're going to go to Europe in November. So uh, happy! I'm just happy to be doing it again. You know, just to be hanging out with my best friend Kevin, and being able to go out and have fun. So um, the tour starts in uh, June. We're, we're uh, no, June, uh, our first date's going to be July 24th, and then we're 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 going out to Wisconsin. We're doing a couple of dates with Corn. And then uh, we're going to be doing the Midwest, uh, really focusing on the Chicago and, and the Midwest area, we'll probably go down into Texas maybe. just depends. We're routing everything now, but we have our anchor dates, which are the two with corn, and then we're doing um, a date with Clutch uh, August 11th in uh, Flint, Michigan. So. And uh, you guys, uh, through what uh, record company did you... Um... Uh, THC and Rocket Science. It's a joint venture that's uh, distributed through uh, Red Distribution, which is Sony. So. Now, nowadays, you're just happy that someone wants to press your record and put it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Sleeves on Dope, a lot of people are uh, pretty stoked that uh, you guys um, are making a comeback. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we, 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 we haven't put a record out since 2003, so it's been uh, it's been a long time coming, you know. And uh, we're, we're excited. We're excited. Well, you guys already did a, a whole bunch of videos already for um, the album. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're and you're working on another one uh, coming up this month? Yeah, we've filmed four. We have... Two, three, two there in production, so we have, this is going to be the sixth one we're doing now. We're filming one on uh, April 22nd. And, and we okay. want people to come down for to be in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Just go to Facebook and we'll do it. If you want to come, <laughs> add me on Facebook and we'll get you in the video. What kind of, um, what kind of theme are you going to be going for? In this uh, I can't say. You can't, can't say? say no, I can't say. Something so. different, though. <laughs> we just finished one for, um, for a song, Cavalry, on the album, which is really, really fucked up. So uh, it, should be, it should be interesting. This new one's for Unraveling, so I think it's going to be more of a live setting, kind of like a live feel, but it'll be fun. Uh, you're shooting a lot of videos just for this one album. Where are you getting the money like for this? Is this coming out of your own pocket? Yeah, it's all Kevin and I. But I think I think we're, we're lucky because our bass player, Seb, um, he does videos, and he's he's able to do them at, a, at obviously a better price for us than we would have done with uh, you know just him hiring him outside, so it makes it easier. But we do a lot of the stuff ourselves, like all the... All the the treatments and the and the and the stories and everything we come up with ourselves and you know all the people that are cast in the video work for free and, you know we try to cut corners as much as we can film them in places where we can get for free we just try to do it as, as DIY as you can but it's I think it's because we're so frustrated that we couldn't do good videos before when we had all the money behind us we said fuck it we're gonna do like ten for this album so. Oh, well, uh, you, you mentioned uh, Seb a little bit earlier Sebastian yeah. and uh, Pete are the two newest members yeah. well, yeah, great guys too. Yeah, and uh, how how did you uh, end up hooking up with these guys initially? Well, it initially started with Kevin and I said we were going to write an album. We weren't sure if we were going to tour or really play. So um, Kevin and I, well, Kevin wrote all, all the music, and then we we collaborated on the uh, on the lyrics, and, and I came up with the melodies, and we mashed all that together. And when it came time to playing drums, we needed a drummer to play. You know, we had to get out of the program drums and make put real drums down. So we auditioned a couple of guys and. I saw Pete play and I was like, fuck, he's amazing, you know, and we had seen him play years ago with Sign of One, and um, he just, he just really wanted the gig, and, and we ended up booking a show for our, uh, it was our 18th anniversary, I think at Fofun, like, uh, not Fofun, at uh, Cavi Chaos on February 5th, so okay, uh, they that. played the first show with us, and Seb, and Seb wanted it too, and, you know, we, we had a couple other guys we auditioned for bass, like this other guy, Rob Lorian, um, he, uh, he was one of the guys who was going to play bass with us too, and he subs for for Seb when Seb's sick or Seb can't come. So, um, but Seb and Peter are our guys. You know, we just it just worked. We, they 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 fit in with what Kevin and I wanted to do, and they knew that there was going to be times we're going to be busy, and then there'll be other times they can do their own stuff. You know, they have other projects to do. Peter's got another band, Tattoo Rebellion, so it's it allows them to do what they want to do and still be a part of something that's going to do something. You know, we're not gonna you know we're not gonna blow smoke up their ass if we say we're gonna go do a show. We're gonna go do it. <laughs> You guys first started around uh, 93, wasn't 93, it? 93, yeah. And then, uh, like, around 2000, come 2000, you know, your, uh, the peak was when you guys went on to OzFest. Yeah, when well, we, we signed to Sharon's label in, in 2000 and did OzFest. And, and then after that, like, you know, things got quiet. Well, you guys still uh, released a few records. Well, we put out Metaphor after, uh, in 2003. And, um, and I left the band, like, four months after the record came out, so... 
so we were in a bit of a, a bit of an extended hiatus. So like, um, what did you do right to, um, you know, the beginning part to come back and then now like uh, right off the bat, you know, land gigs with corn? I think, well, I think, I mean, we have a we have a name that we could kind of fall back on. You know, we did tour a lot when we were together and we had a pretty good fan base in the U.S. and, and in Europe. So we were lucky that we, we still had some of those friends that, that remembered us and that were willing to help us out. And a lot of them that had been younger fans had grown up and were in positions where they could help us out too which is always nice so always be nice to people because it comes back to you <laughs> but I think um, I think it's just the, the right attitude I think people know that the project's it's solid and it's and you know I think we put out a pretty good record so people are are happy to help us out you know and I think it's we're still a good band live you know we always were a good that's what we primarily were was a live band you know so uh, I think we just we're just lucky to have a lot of people still in our corner Okay. Um, of all the shows that you played, what would you call the the hot, like um, the most memorable gig? For, uh, Probably opening up for Ozzy, like direct support, not not on Ozfest. I mean, we, we it was us and Ozzy at uh, the joint in uh, Las Vegas at Hard Rock Cafe. It's like a 2,000 seat venue, and it was just us and Ozzy, and that was pretty pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sweet. Hell yeah. Pretty cool. That yeah. and um, that and we opened up for Queens of the Stone Age once. Like we played also on Ozfest, but we did a small gig with them in Arkansas, and that was pretty. Was pretty tremendous for me. Awesome. Well, uh, last year you played heavy MPL, yeah. and then you've been judging every night so far here yeah. at the um, through all, every round here yeah. at the Battle of the Bands. What do you look for, like? By, uh, well, I, I'm. I think your band has to have their shit together, and there's been a few in, in the contest so far that have blown me away. I mean, I won't name any names because we're everyone, you know they're waiting until the end to. But um, I think what what it comes down to is you gotta you gotta realize you're playing a big show. You know, so if you're going to have the, the chance and the honor to be on that show, you better have your shit together and you better be ready. You know, and, and um, so definitely looking for that, looking for people that are hungry and that have that that have it. You know, and and there's a lot of bands that that I've seen that aren't quite there yet, but that are so close. And you need to do a contest like this and not win to build your confidence enough and to and to get knocked down to be able to come back stronger the next year. And I know because it happened to us a million times. You know, that's part of the game too. Is like you, you can't. You know, when you show up somewhere and you're prepared and you're good, it's all it's all the better. But you have to have a couple of fuck ups to be able to say, oh yeah, now I know what we got to do to win that next time. So um, I think there's a lot of different levels of of, of talent in, in the contest, and there's you know there's some bands if you could make a Franken band and just like take one guitar player here and one singer and you could make the ultimate band, but I mean that's just that's not reality. Well, but there's but I've seen some really really cool bands. It doesn't surprise me because Montreal's a metal town, you know. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm about done with my questions here. I got one more for you before yeah. I let you go. If two bands fucked and slaves on dope was a child, who would the parents be? Uh, probably Faith No More and Seal. Faith No More and Seal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, one of the odd ones that we get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, Jason. Thanks, man. Work with 
coming to that show. A lot of work. And um, yes, yes, she's awesome. Well, you're here again. Great vocals, awesome, awesome front person, front woman. Great, great to see a girl up there giving it. I love the red hair, it's like red Sonia, you know, like those great Conan and uh, like kill people. A lot of work, great backup singers up there, or the Druids, or whatever. Are you guys excited for The Hobbit? Just don't let Pina see you up on stage with that fucking fur, man. That's scary shit. But great job. A lot of work, great crowd participation. I love the, the bringing the swords out. It's that extra stuff that makes you people remember you. And uh, not to mention, I mean, you're great players, but it's that extra stuff, that theatrical element that brings people back and lets people see you live because you offer something different. So great job. All right, so listen, nice to see Jay playing guitar again. Sinister Bean in the house. That's old school, I don't want to date myself. We're four year olds. Uh, best fucking band technically that I've seen so far in the whole contest. Hands down, hands down. Uh, excellent, I, I, love the, I love the fucking body makeup, it looks great. You know what though? I gotta be really honest. As well as you guys fucking play, you don't even need that stuff. But it looks yeah, good. Yeah. I'm saying, you guys sound like an old school thrash metal man, kind of like where he's from. Excellent fucking axemanship. The playing was great. Great drummer. Love the band. Yeah. Once again, let's hear it from our judges of the evening. We got Jason. We got Evan. We got Mike. We got Luke. We got, we got Alex. We got Fred. Give it up for our judges. You're listening to Metal Attack MTL with Double D here on MetalMessiahRadio.com. <laughs>